What's up guys, Dolph here, and I'm here to just walk you through the getting started with your new GMK keyboard joystick. So here's mine right here. I've got it positioned under my keyboard in the place that I find it comfortable. And it's all plugged in and my computer picked it up and registered it as a controller. And that's all automatic and you don't have to worry about any of that. And so the next step is you're gonna to wanna to go to my website, gamingmodkits.com or download slash getting started. The link for this page will be in the description below. There's a lot of information on this page that you can go through, but it's also found in this download link. So you wanna click download and it'll take you to my Google Drive that has three configuration files for basically all the games you would play will use one of these three. And then a PDF that'll have all the information to get you started. I highly recommend reading this. It's got a lot of good information and it explains all the configurations and how you set them up in Fortnite. You're also going to want to download these three configuration files. So I'm just going to click download, download, and download. And then go back to the PDF. And right here are the instructions for installing anti micro. So I'm just going to click this link right here. It takes you to SourceForge. It'll automatically start your download. So there's my download automatically started and going. So it's done. So you're going to double click that right there. Please wait while Windows configures anti-micro. It's going to ask you to allow the app to make changes. So you want to click yes. And then it should be done. So next you're going to open it. So just search in your search bar for anti-micro. There it is. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to allow it to run. So now it's already detecting this tab up here. It says X input controller, game controller one. So that's my device right here. It's registered as an X input device. So I already have these three loaded. So I'm just going to remove them. So this is how you'll look when you first get to it. You'll just have a new tab with X input controller. So you're going to want to click load and you're going to want to add the three downloaded files that you just downloaded. They should be the three most recent in your downloads. So now you can switch between them by just clicking this drop down menu. So your three options are the standard Xbox input and that has nothing binded to the left stick. It's just the left stick here. You can mess with your dead zone your diagonal ranges, stuff like that. This is just standard controller input. This you'll use for Fall Guys and Rocket League. And when Fortnite fixes the glitch, then this will this is what you'll use for Rocket for, for for Fortnite. The other input is the standard four arrow keys, which here I will turn this back on so you can see my hand. The standard four arrow keys synced up to up, down, left, right. Oh, so that's just the Xbox controller, nothing binded. Here we've got the standard four arrow keys. It keeps going backwards, but that's fine. And then the other option is the Fortnite triple movement. And this is the fix that people use for the Azeron as well. It's where you bind an additional um, left and forward and right and forward, and then an additional back. Basically copy these key binds. And a lot of that is explained in the PDF. So that's how you load your configuration files into Antimicro. So when you want to play a game, you just open up Antimicro. Let's say you're playing Fortnite, so you'll just click on Fortnite Triple Movement, and then you're good to go. It's immediately working. If you're playing a game like Call of Duty or Valorant or Rogue Company, then just hit standard four arrow keys, and you're good to go. And then you can just minimize Antimicro, and you're good to go. Let me know if you have any questions, guys, and have fun gaming.